this is what it looks like with everything on it. Doesn't it match my face, my neck, my chest? Do I look like a ghost, kid? ghost face killer? Do I look casket ready? No, we're not looking casket ready here on this channel. We're not about that casket ready life. Hey guys, Colleen here. Welcome back to my channel. I don't understand this weather, you know, it's like legit raining. I'm just watching clouds. But the lighting is okay. Um, again, weather is betraying me because they know I'm about to do a wear test on a foundation. Now, as you've seen by the title, yes, I'm going to do a Caribbean wear test on the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation, you know? And just to like give you some little facts on this bad boy. This comes in one fluid ounce, which is typical of most foundations. It does come with a pump, which I do like. And it retails for 10 US on the Illegal website. In Trinidad, it is 64TT at Wonderful World, and I believe someone told me you could get it at Pennywise for even cheaper. They say around $50 or so, but I don't know. Don't quote me, you can confirm in the comments below. They say it's matte, medium to full coverage, long wearing. It comes in 14 shades, and in terms of a product description, let me just read briefly what the website said with a soft and sweet suede like finish pro matte foundation will have you covered and shine free all day long the creamy liquid formula provides smooth and buildable coverage for both day and nighttime wear it minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines and gives a soft focus effect it's paraben free with vitamin e b5 and sensor oil so Wherever I hear matte, matte foundations, me being an oily girl, that is like, you know, goals, you know, um, I did try out this foundation once before, <clears throat> so this is not really like a first impression, this is now a true wear test because I will be going out today in the elements, so we're going to feel the full effects of the Caribbean heat, but okay, that rain just left you, you go okay all right cool i'm not complaining so i got mine in the shade caramel which is supposed to be an equivalent to a mac mc45 my only gripe with this foundation line is the shade range it only has 14 shades and <clears throat> i mean la girl has pro concealer line which has 28 shades so I don't know like I'm missing something there in terms of why you guys not um you know have a more expansive inclusive shade range but hey this is what it is right now you know so we're gonna try this bad boy out so I am going to moisturize my skin with the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Get me another one. Oh, maybe I could go pretty wise and see how much the foundation costs here one time. You know. Mm. So I do like to moisturize my skin with a matte gel. And because I'm going out into the elements, I'm gonna use my Misha Sun Milk. Here. You know, always advise you use some kind of sun protection. So I adjusted my brows. I use the Ellie Girl Gel um, liner in brown to do my brows. I think it was only fitting seeing that we're doing an Ellie Girl review. So I did, you did see me moisturize and put sunblock on my face. So I'm going in now, nah, don't want that primer, with the Becca Backlight Primer. Um, me personally, whenever I'm using a very 
or I suspect I'm going to use a very matte foundation. I like to use a luminizing primer underneath just to give me a little some some glue, you know. It will resort into being pregnant. <laughs> Alright, so if you don't have that primer, you could use any illuminating primer. Right? And I typically run this all over my face, not so much my T-zone, but yeah, on large parts of my face, you know, where I know light would bounce off my face, right? So, yeah, and then I'm going in with Becca Ever Matte Primer on my T-zone because I know that is where my oils really do attack and eat away on the foundation um, but I must say my skin has been behaving pretty well I've been taking care of her you know um, drinking my water minding my own business you know wearing my sunblock and um, you know it looks good it looks good you know and I'm not as oily as I typically am so that's a good thing you know so just gonna press that in um if you don't have Becca um Becca products like I said for the backlight illuminating primer you could use I think NYX has an illuminating um primer I think you know um for the a deep for the ever matte um I haven't really come across like a real dupe for that um primer because it is really matte um, but if I do when I do I'll let you know you know so I am going to hmm, use I'm gonna do one side with um, a brush and the other side with a blending sponge you know I don't typically do that but uh, might as well for demonstration purposes you know so this is what it looks like this is not a dead-on match for me like I was telling someone but you really want your foundation if it is to match your neck and chest, right? Um, my face is a little, slightly a little um, lighter than my the rest of my body because I wear a lot of sun block there and I do a lot of exfoliation on my face. So, um, let me just get all my face. I didn't put on my bunny ears. Oh, how tragic. So, and um, I like this shade because um, I tested cafe cafe which is a smidge too pink and if you have a warm undertone and it's too pink you're gonna look great <laughs> So, a good um, way to check your undertone, um, check your wrist to see what color your veins are, you know. If your veins look more on the greeny side, you are warm tone. If they look more purple, they're cool tone. And if you're blue, because they're blue, you're neutral. So. So it does spread pretty um, decently with a sponge. Let's just zoom in a little bit. And this is the side with no foundation. You can tell it matches, you know. I don't have to drag it too much down the neck for it to match, but I hate to see like a cast on a face, you know. I'm going in with a beauty blender. I'm going to apply the other half to my face. Right. Now 
they say that this oxidizes um, the time I wore it when I did my 11 hour um, check-in I guess it did oxidize a bit so um, my recommendation is to when you're in store and you're testing it just test it walk around with it on your hand and watch how it oxidizes if it does um, because I can't say um, definitively that all the shades oxidize I don't know I don't need all the shades I just need what will match me right so but I will list all the information in the description below for those who are interested in cupping this foundation can see it blends very nicely with the sponge as well actually I prefer it with the sponge to the brush I mean it looks more airbrushed with the sponge than the brush I mean you can't see it on camera but I can see it in place so I'm just going over the side of the brush with the sponge All right. and they say that this is medium full um, I think it's medium buildable. I wouldn't say it's full because I am seeing some of my freckling on my face. Um, of course, for those who do have um, more uneven skin, hyperpigmentation, um, scarring and whatnot, you would want to color correct or even put an extra layer of foundation where you have your trouble spots you know just to give you that added insurance you know <laughs> you want added insurance girlfriends yeah but this is a decent match for me as you can tell and I when I do my videos, I like to do it in natural sunlight so you can see because I've been watching reviews on this and you see when you have the bright bright lights it's kind of deceiving to the viewer as to the person's true shape, like the complexion. Right. So, so this is it. So let me put on the rest of my because you're really not interested in that you're really interested in the foundation and we'll get back to this video okay so we're back to fresh face beat look so yeah this foundation is pretty pretty nifty I'm really impressed this could run with my NARS all the luminous weightless foundation my remarkable my Marc Jacobs remarkable foundation my Lancome tint a dull foundation I mean this is really really good especially for the price you know I I usually tell people you know splurge a little more on your base products your skincare your primers and your foundations but every now and again you do come across a foundation that is budget friendly that really knocks it out of the park so this is the first check-in um, it's quarter past and so a little over an hour um, again foundation is still intact um, it has gelled in quite nicely with the rest of my skin so it looks very skin like um, I have very pronounced um, smile lines so um, but overall it still looks very lovely on the skin I don't know why I keep Right, yeah. <laughs> so I will check in again later today. It is overcast, I'm sorry, but it's humid. So we're gonna see how it holds up in the humidity aspect. Okay, so this is the second check in. It is 10 to 1. And makeup is so good, um, it's very rainy as you can tell. Um, just heading to get some lunch there, and but 
Yeah, I guess not. But the foundation is holding up pretty well, you know. Um, I'm not seeing any creasing or fading. It is not transfer proof. So when I do touch my face, um, it does come off on my fingertips. But um, once you set it properly, it should be good. Um, I didn't show it in the clip um, earlier, but I did use um, the Becca Backlight Primer all over the face and then the Evermatte on the T-Zone. And to set it, I used the Beauty Bakery Yellow Flower, which is a favor of mine. You know, it's not too yellow, it's not too white. Right amount of yellow, so I don't look casket ready. So it's later on in the day, and again, see? Um, what I will do, I will insert um, a little clip here of what it looked like after 11 hours. This was... That would have been the first time I wore it. <clears throat> that would have been yesterday for work. And again, no touch-ups. So, yeah. I'll just show you that little clip there. And then send you back to my former self where I had some lipstick and I was looking fresh. Or at least my makeup was looking fresh. So, yeah. That is it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful to you in your search for that perfect foundation. Just be on the lookout for that giveaway I'm hosting. I'm still collecting prizes. Make sure you subscribe because then you wouldn't miss out on such awesome videos like this one, you know? And like and comment below as well. Tell me if you're gonna get it or not. Um, tell me if you have it and if it worked for you, you know? Just let me know in the comments below. Um, and until next time, 